Going Capricorn, I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day. I've got um, your reading coming up pretty much in the next 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Yeah, it's not the way it works. Just uh, get something that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, leave it at the door. If it does resonate, please uh, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, we've got some victories flipping here, that's for sure. Strength in victories. Um, if it does um, resonate, please give us a like, subscribe, even comment. Um, I'm going to use multiple decks, okay? I'm not going to use one deck. I'm going to use multiple decks. I'm going to give Spirit a chance to put double emphasis emphasis, let alone triple emphasis on the uh, spiritual message, and uh, give a fresh approach as we go through. All right, the two cards that come out is strength and there's some sort of success. There's strength in some sort of success. You've come full completion in some sort of way. That is badass success in itself. Um, and we've got the strength card there, which is that Leo energy. The other card that I just pulled out is that enthusiasm, but it's, it's like um, the creative, innovative side of enthusiasm. Because that strength is a beautiful card, and for that to come out first, but I want to jump onto that badass success and show you something about that badass success. That badass success is a very, very cool card to have, okay? The reason is, is it um, puts you to a position in your life where you are ready to have that leadership, I suppose. It's the best way, because we've got, see I was saying with the full wreath, the wreath coming full circle, there it is there, you know, in the underlying energies. But it gives you a chance to have that optimism in your life and that ins inspiration, and that's where this one comes in, you know, especially if you're inspiring others and stuff, because that's enthusiasm with your inspiration and stuff like that, but we'll get to that card in a second. But it's like um, thinking about being recognized, in, I suppose, as an influencer maybe as well, because the lights are on her. See, uh, Capricorn, um, the lights are on, and if you have a look in the background, it's all like the, the hands are clapping there in itself, and it's a matter of... Um, affinity anything's possible in a, in a level of affinity you know you keep your heart close to yourself um there is a land there so it can show that you may have sacrificed a lot in order to get to where you are in whatever success you're in at the present moment but um it shows that um you have the leadership that you're able to do it and the eye to eye um look and feel to be able to get it done yeah and be complete and whole and happy and thankful and grateful for it you know and that's beautiful in itself and it shows that you are that six of one shows that you're worthy of that success Whatever it could be, it doesn't have to be on the, on the, on the, um, in the limelight, it could just be divine grace and, and having that divine grace, um, in order to have that worthiness and know that you deserve it at two, 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 two on the clock. That angel number two, two, two is, um, triple two is, uh, stop worrying. Everything is working out just as it's supposed to just trust the universe. You're on the right path, uh, Capricorn. Um, the next card is this one. We're just going to come back to that in a second. With the, the Page of Wands, I want to explain something about the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is um, it's it's Page energy, which is childish energy in itself. Okay, but uh, somebody stepping off in the right direction um, in itself. Okay, but it's like um, a creative new beginning in itself. It's like um, it's like uh, a newly found inspiration, I suppose, or an energy. And because all the cards are energies in themselves, but they're just the divine energies. Uh, there could be hope. You could be learning a new skill or a passion, which puts you on that stage or something that people. It doesn't have to be on a stage. Like people, you could be going to a wedding or something like that and learn how to play a guitar just in order to play it for the song. That I'm just using that, but it can be curiosity as well. But many different ideas or solutions. Yeah. Um, it's good, like it's it's a cre capturing energy, okay, creative energy. I don't think anybody is somebody if uh, being in that energy. Um, I don't think somebody likes it, okay, because this card came out, and this card is a card of a dreamer. Now, as it sits there, it's like somebody's looking at you in your infectious energy, and they don't like that, okay. Um, and like I was saying before, with the divine grace, yeah, because they're seeing that divine grace come in in itself, um, the blessings in some sort of way, because it's, it is a blessing to get on that stage and step off in that right direction, yeah. Um, with the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups is, um, it can be a spoilt brat, I suppose. It can be a spoilt brat, but it also can be you in that energy where you are rejection, rejecting something. Um, reject even, even rejecting the fact that you have divine grace is still rejection in itself. But it's 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 cups and cups are emotions. It's it's like seeing the fullness and riches of your life when it comes around, yeah, and not allowing yourself to be in those situations where you're falling back and can be a, a, a chance to uh, lead to boredom and things like that. But the fact that we've got the right direction coming out after that um, tells me you may be a little bit worried about that new step because I did see the um, worried card that come out there, a little bit ostracized, a little bit feeling left out, yeah. Uh, the universe is offering you something here in itself because there is a divine blessing and that divine blessing as it looks here from this side 
is that surfboard. See the surfboard? Okay, now I'm going to explain something about this card here, all right? The Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is um, somebody actioning on a plan, okay? She's got a surfboard in her hand. But the Two of Wands, which is before that card, is somebody learning. They're planning some sort of trip, okay? And in that cut, in the Two of Wands card, there's somebody sitting in the corner. In the corner is a, a surfboard and a combi van, and they're planning that trip, okay? But when you get to the Three of Wands, they've grabbed the surfboard and they've actioned the plan. So you may be daydreaming at the present moment. A lot of uh, with about in, with enthusiasm and strength within that, and there's a success within it. Oh, it literally! Oh, yeah, I just said it. Literally, just said it. it puts emphasis what I'm saying. So see, see the combi van and the and the thing of the two of wands, and then you get to the three of wands. There's there's the surfboard on the car that goes to there. It's like the world's in front of you. Well, it's like you're looking out the window, I suppose, and the world's in front of you. But you you are planning something at the present moment, uh, Capricorn, and and that's perfect, you know. And just make sure that you're grat gratitude, um, grateful for the things that come around, and don't miss the opportunities because that's what that four of cups is: is having that introspection and apathy, but ha being grateful for that blessing because everything in life is a blessing, even breath, uh, even the uh, the breath that we have. Whew. Slow down talking, I suppose, a bit there. But the three of wands is is actioning on that plan, and and um. You know, it's it, your energy is manifesting, okay, and working towards a manifestation. Your energy is manifesting, and the arrival of those opportunities it can mean business wins. It can mean clarity on your ambitions. It can mean continuous improvement in thyself. It can be moving in the right direction, which is what it is. It's progress, and that's the best way. It's like knowing your dream is on the way and manifesting it by releasing to the universe, so you can have and be in flow with the opportunities when they show up. Yeah, because we have a lot of strength here. Um, the Six of Wands is a badass success, man. We're going to flip these decks in a second so we can keep going with the story. But as you can see, there is something coming in. You see, she's about to walk up to the beach. See? And it shows you're in the right direction. See? Because the water's in front there. And in this one, it's like um, it's in, on the sailing on its way in the air. Just remain high, as high vibing as you can potentially be. Um, try and stay out of these energies, okay? Because these energies here where you regret or um, bored and things like that, they can check out the mind with deceptions. Look, the two cards coming out here. They can out the mind with deceptions, yeah? And tell you that you're not worthy of these things. You can literally lose a bit of faith, I suppose, in the situation which puts you in a different trajectory of life as we have trajectories and fate and destiny. But they... They do come around with the way the way we work, okay? The moon highlights things we can't see, so watch out for any trickster energies, um, anything that plays on the mind, any type of hollow victories, any type of um, bullying, harassment, things like that, especially stepping off into a new direction. And the stage here, if you are about to go onto a stage, okay, I always say this without um, Eminem, uh, these energies turned up in Eminem in, in 8 Mile there. Before he went on the stage, he had to go and vomit up mum's spaghetti, yeah? Um, because he didn't feel uh, enthusiastic enough, I suppose, about himself because of trickster energies in his own head, thinking that he wasn't possibly good enough. And what did he do in the end when he owned it? With his enthusiasm, he came along in the end and cleaned them all up, yeah? With his, um, yeah, Papa Duck, yeah? Um, but you can see how the trickster energy is working to stay out of that while you're trying to stay as high, spirit saying try and stay as high vibing as you can while these things come in in divine timing, yeah, and we don't allow these trickster energies to play, um, especially the moon highlights things we can see, but it could be emotion in yourself, yeah, um, the shadows there show the psychic, um, the shadow of the psychic self that we can't see, um, the things below, below the surface in itself at 80808, which is double emphasis on manifestation, but it does add down to a seven in personal growth. Um, and that is personal growth, but yeah, spirit's saying it's on its way in. Whoop. It's on its it's it's on its way in while you're planning. You've got the world in front of you. It's on its way in, uh, but don't wallow and 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 be bitter at the present moment. Okay, and I know things have fallen through the cracks before, and you've had to kick this one out. But spirit's saying just wait. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And the best ways they can potentially say it. Okay, and no matter what you do, you can always try, but you need to learn in life in order to have those beautiful things come in that are fate in themselves. And know that um, you've got to co-create in order to have these beautiful blessings come in. We're going to flip the decks. Uh, we're going to give it a shuffle. Uh, but yeah, you know your dream is on its way, okay? Especially if you're going to walk on a stage. You know, tell yourself good stuff and, and good stuff will happen in itself, yeah? We want good things to happen, not bad things. And, and especially with that um, emphasis on... Um, um, you know, making sure, especially if you see 111 a lot, which is your intention, in, intentions are manifesting quickly. So make sure what you're focusing on is what you want. And you don't want to be focusing on negative stuff as it comes in. You want to be sp focusing on that abundance um, while spirit pulls you in the right direction here. Yeah? Um, and having those uh, beautiful things happen to yourself. So that way we can get the beautiful things going. Okay, we're going to continue on the two of wands here. Uh, but we go straight under that strength. It gives me a little bit more of a chance to see what's going on. 
be strong at the present moment. Um, if somebody's pissed off about you um, getting things, okay, because that's what it is. It can signify uh, a spoiled brat, okay? Um, you need to be strong at the present moment, especially if you're going onto a stage. There is a victory, because have a look here. That's literally the same card as it came out the first day. These are the first two cards that came out. They came out by themselves, yeah? And it shows that, like, and as I've shuffled this deck, this is the first one that comes out, and there it is there again, which is like putting triple emphasis. There is 78 cards in these decks, yeah? 78 of them. 78 in them. Yeah, I've got a ton of them. Um, I'll grab them to change them up so Spirit can put double emphasis, let alone triple emphasis on these things. There is a victory coming, and it's putting double emphasis as it'll sit like that, literally in front of me. Six of Wands to the Six of Wands, which is a badass success, victory, finishment, completions, uh, happy celebrations, times, and beautiful things that may be in love. You may be waiting on love. You may be waiting on something that you love. It doesn't have to be love. Not everybody's in a relationship or wants a relationship. Um, it can be something that you emotionally are attached to or something that you want in itself. Uh, we're leading to the page of wands, which is infectious enthusiasm, but somebody with a creative new beginning in some sort of way. Uh, and it's time to trust your intuition and trust that faith, okay? And trust that it's coming in and stay high vibing. We've got the king of wands here. The king of wands is a badass. It's not badass success. He's like a natural born leader. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to a natural born leader here at the present moment. And, and while we're in those four of cups, I honestly keep coming back to these two four of cups thinking that somebody's not really liking the fact that you are beating to your own drum and stepping off in your path, okay? And they don't usually like that. See, beating to your own drum, that is literally beating to your own drum. That is, what is beating to your own drum? Beating to your own drum is an unapologetically being yourself. Uh, while good news comes in because that's what good news is and especially if you're healing in, in some sort of way yeah because you wished upon a star yeah because you are the pre-empress you are the empress and you are the empress of your journey and you deserve that so spirit can pull you to calmer waters and have that justice come in now justice doesn't have to be bad or sad justice in itself is just a completion and gives you the chance to be able to level up and have those things justice in itself i'm going to tell you exactly what justice is because people seem to think justice is Oh wow! I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and do this, and the spirit's gonna come along and do this. Uh, one, you don't tell the spirit what to do. Two, um, justice is what justice is. We don't get to choose it. It's, it's it's basically justice is walking in a higher alignment of yourself and knowing that you're walking with yourself as it sends shivers down my spine. But it's balance. That's what Kajama is. Uh, uh, justice is is its karmic balance, and it, and it gives you the natural ebbs and flows of life in order to have cause and effect. Okay, um, a lot of people can't see it from their perspective, but um, at the end of the day, there is times in your life where you have come through horrible situations, but you haven't been the best yourself. But you come through it knowing damn well you've been through a horrible situation, but you can't seem to fathom uh, the human um, can't seem to fathom the fact that they were just as bad in that situation. No, 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 no. No cause and effect, you know, fighting, no nothing. Yeah, it's just we've got to put it down to an actual thing. So why would spirit come along and punish somebody and punish you at the same time? It doesn't work like that. Sometimes it can just be an equal, um, f fair perspective or accountability of cause and effect, yeah? We're going to change the deck up at the present moment, Capricorn. Uh, but that's exactly what it is. Justice is, isn't just in, injustice or holding too tightly to bound those concepts in. It's, it's what's rightful, thoughtful action that inspires those services, yeah? And that's the truth, and that's literally the best way you can say it. And what's fair and right within the universe. So that's why it's, it's good when it comes justice around to um, leave it and let it go and just let the universe deal with it. Um, and when, 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 that, when bad things happen, we'll come back to this card in a second, when bad things happen, we don't um, wallow and cry and sad about it. We don't laugh either because that's disgusting, obviously, with the cause and effects. It'll come back around for you. But what we got here... Yes, we got this is my trials and tribulations card. Yeah, I do tarot the way I do tarot. Um, this is learning the lessons from the one to the ten and then taking those lessons into the next step of your life. And that is definitely there with the beautiful inner in a brace in a in a in a bracing like of the childish attitude of not childish attitude, but the childlike mindset of a free per free you know, you know, our kids are free to be able to dream. Well, that's my um, trials and tribulations card of learning the lessons um, and then seeing the blessings. So see the blessing that comes in the background. I see it just, so I keep coming back to this. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're getting blessed or something like that in some sort of way, but it's not for them. It's um, God gives that grace, not them. Okay, so you've got your new uh, beginning in itself and learning the lessons and putting those healthy boundaries in place and not allowing these things to play on your mind anymore and, and having that beautiful beautiful apathy within yourself and, 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 and walking in alignment with yourself, yeah? Because Capricorn, this is this is a beautiful reading. Uh, just give me two seconds. I'm just going to make sure of something, yeah? 
Yeah, Capricorns are very disciplined, they're very patient, and they're very persevering, So, which means you're always putting the effort. You were responsible, you were committed, you were hardworking souls. You are very mature in the mindset. Um, you are determined, uh, you are de dedicated, and you're persistent. Uh, you sometimes, when things fall off, you can become uncomm uncommitted. Um, we'll come to this card in a second. Uh, cold and detached, that's, that's fair for a Capricorn. But the card that flipped is, and I'm literally not joking. I want to show you as it sits in front of me. Victory on victory on victory. The three of the same cards out of three decks. Now, I've literally only pulled a sense of super down my spine. I've only pulled one card out, people. One card out of this deck. I'm literally just looking at you while I'm shuffling the cards. I'll do it like this if I have to. I'm literally just looking at the camera while I'm doing it, yeah? And I'm just thinking then, trying to get the, the messages across. But as you can see, there is badass success coming for somebody. And it's a Capricorn and it's beautiful, okay? We need to remain infectious and enthusiastic about the good things that come at 22 on the clock. Um, and trust our higher priestess energy, which is trusting our um, intuition and trusting the things that come, okay? Be to that own drum. Be, be unapologetically you, you know? Step off in that direction because good news is coming with that ship sailing in the background. Um, you've taken the time to heal, that's for sure, with, especially with that star. You've made a wish in some sort of instance, yeah? And there's some sort of rebirth coming, and that's the, that's the best. The death is always going to bring rebirth, especially when you're in this social butterfly energy, especially uh, the social butterfly is somebody who is... It's like the ex next, next part to this one. The Knight of Wands is beating to that own drum. The, so the social butterfly, the Queen of Wands, um, is somebody who is unapologetically themselves. They don't care about what people think. They're the life of the party. They um, they just they don't care, that sort of stuff. They boldly express themselves. They're charismatic. They're passionate. They're spontaneous. They're brave because they walk into rooms and just be themselves. They pursue their dreams. They can be impulsive. They're very, very confident. And they're, they're like building their kingdom, their queendom in themselves and having that power and intensity and love because that's, that's exactly what that is. And that's the rebirth, okay? And that's the level up in itself that to give you that um, that chance to have that intensity of passion as you as you walk into that room, okay? Because we do have badass success here, and the light is shining on somebody. That's for sure. Yeah, it's very, taken a lot of time to get there, okay? You've had to co-create with the divine in so many ways, um, and she just comes straight back out. You literally see me shuffle it, okay? The Queen of Wands. You've worked very very hard to become this social person, this butterfly. You don't have to be sociable. Not everybody's sociable. But what I'm saying is, something about you is charismatic. Something about you is persevering. Something about you is intense. Something about you is passion and spontaneous. Something about you is brave. That's what I'm saying when I say that. It's worked hard as you've worked hard with the, uh, the divine to co-create that and have that beautiful thing in your life. And we can see that there's good news coming, okay, with this next card as we're walking into because we've got the eight of wands, which is good news coming, okay? And then we've got the three of wands, which shows you that you're walking on that trajectory. And what we don't want to do is allow these things, as it's putting double emphasis on, and underneath that is the healing card as we're going, literally, as we're going into it. These are the cards here. This is the healing card of that good news as we go into it. So I'll show you in a second. But the same cards here. We don't allow, sorry, same, sorry, same cards here, the five of cups, okay? We don't allow these things, okay? We pull victories, okay? And allow these things to trap us, far out, thank you, spirit, trap us in our minds, literally trap us in our minds, yeah? And we put healthy boundaries in place and we go within to find out who we are so we can remain in that social butterfly um, type of energy. And as you can see, there's a victory in that, okay, for somebody. But as you can see, this is the card we just pulled out, which is the five of swords. I'll put this card back now. But as you can, what I'm going to do is put that card back. Underneath that is the healing right now remember that because this is this way it's going to come and this is the way it sits in front of me which shows the same cards again see spirit wants to put double emphasis on where the healing out these 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 horrible sadness and bittering things see literally it sits that's how it sits okay but it shows, it puts emphasis on the fact that we've got to heal these things in ourselves, whether it be a shadow self and things like that, because when we cry, spirit cries with us and holds our hand at those times and we don't want to um, keep, it's not that we don't want to, spirit will hold your hand at truth in times for the whole journey of your whole entire life, baby. Um, and yeah, look, we've got the, um, the uh, Knight, of, Knight of Wands again, which shows that you are a free, free soul. Um, you're a free loving Capricorn. You're a beautiful, yeah, you can't, you are committed, you are dedicated and persistent, but you may be restricted at time and impatient, okay? So that's where divine timing does come into play. 
because you manifest with the universe and in that you manifest uh, good times. Seek manifestation to be co-creating with the universe, giving and receiving uh, with the universe in itself. And we can see that you've made a wish. So now we get to go into that and see where it is, okay? Because you've made some sort of wish and it might be to stop all this trickery and playing on the minds and all these deceptions that we've just gone from two of them and having that awakening and self-realization and calling the divine judgment, allowing uh, the, the universe to do its thing so you can have those things. We only got one more card and we're going to leave it at that, Capricorn. But yeah, we you can see that there's some sort of victory coming and we don't want to be left in our mind and juggling those silly thoughts in order to, to come along and have to use our intellect to get ourselves out of those situations. You're a warm and abundant person and you deserve good memories memories card and you deserve to have releases of these painful endings as you can see the ten of swords is a painful ending and release and using that extreme logic and morals and integrity in order to lead you towards the good things that you want literally just says it word for word as i'm speaking um you're a manifester and that's the truth it's manifesting good times um and that's the truth and the best part about it is somebody doesn't like it okay and they usually don't like it okay they don't expect these things to come around for people but there's some sort of success coming for you it is all the same cards they come out at exactly the same time and the funny thing about that is it was the second card in of each deck which shows two 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 stop worrying everything is working out as it's supposed to trust the universe that you're on the right path and if that doesn't explain it i don't know what's going to explain it Cap capricorn but i just want you to have a lovely beautiful day know that the high fight god is always watching and their beautiful high priestess energy and embrace that that beautiful third eye and that gut instinct and learn who you are beat to your drum and that's the best thing you can do in this universe is be unapologetically you capricorn have a lovely day and take care